or thank you for watching Seat and Church Online. My name is Purity. I'm excited that you could join us on this conversation at the Seat and Church Online platforms. In the recent past, we have been talking about Thanksgiving. It is the 11th month of the year and in uh, a number of videos we have talked about God's faithfulness. We have talked about uh, counting our blessings. We have talked about how we need to sing a new song to the Lord for the many things that he has done for us throughout the 2019, the year of the Lord, a year that has been amazing, loaded with many benefits. I believe as you have been following these uh, conversations, some of you have been saying that how can I even count my blessings? Because there are things that I've been praying for. There is this one little thing that I've been trusting the Lord from January. In fact, when I was setting my uh, strategic objectives for the year, my desires, that is a thing that I put on paper and wrote it down, not one thing. It may be even five things that you wrote down. And when you look back, there is nothing that has really happened to date. I came to remind you as we wrap up this conversation on Thanksgiving that it is not over yet until God says it is. You know what? It might be the 11th month of the year, but the year is yet to get over. There are still days to count in 2019. Maybe there are promises that God said that you would receive in this year and might probably, maybe at the beginning of the year, you receive prophetic messages. God spoke to you through his word. God impressed issue, uh, things in your heart that he was going to do. You even set out beginning on projects and up to this point, you have not seen even as little fist of an answer to some of those prayers. I came to remind you, there are, is still time in 2019. Why? Because when you look at the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8, the Bible says, when Peter is writing this epistle, he says in verse 8, But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. Of course, Peter was writing this particular portion of scripture when he was talking about the coming uh, of the Lord, which many have been waiting, and some were saying it has taken too long. But you know what? The same way Peter is talking about the second coming of, of our Lord Jesus to, to, um, to judge the word, but also to receive those that have, uh, have, have received him as Lord and Savior, this is the same way we are talking about when, of, about God answering our prayer. You might have seemed like you have been waiting the whole year. And as we have been talking about Thanksgiving, there is nothing that you think you need to give thanks to God about. I came to remind you that one day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like one day before the Lord. So it do he doesn't require an entire year to perform a miracle for you, to answer your prayer, to come through for you. He just needs to show up because he's God. There is nothing that limits God. It, whether it is time, whether it is space, God created time. And because he created time, whatever word, whatever promise, whatever pro prophetic word that he has released upon your life, he is going to fulfill it. What you need to do is to just trust him because time and season belong to him. Maybe he, be, he knows that releasing this blessing and promise to you before this particular time we are talking of having this conversation with you online, it might have not been the appropriate time for God because it is the timing and the season of God that feeds us and becomes a blessing. Because the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. So if you have had nothing to give thanks to God about, I want to start to, you to start giving thanks to God in advance for the things that he is going to do. I personally am already in a celebration mode, giving thanks to God, because I perceive that God is going to do amazing things before the year 2019 closes, the curtain of 2019 closes. He is going to surprise us. He's going to amaze us. So it is not over until it is over and until God says it is over. There is a hope for every one of us before the window of 2019 closes. So if you're watching this video and you've been feeling discouraged and you've actually put your, 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 uh, I mean your vision and your belief 
at the parking lot, I want you to go back and ignite your faith. Start believing God. Start giving thanks for what you have not seen. Start giving thanks for what you are yet to see because God will watch over his word to perform it. Thank you for watching Sitam Church Online. My name is Purity. My prayer for you is that God will stir up faith and hope for you just the way he has been able to stir up the, uh, the joy that is in my heart even as I share uh, this uh, message with you that God is going to surprise us before 2019 closes the curtain. Thank you for watching. God bless you.